Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer, and we are playing level 8, Watery Tomb. First, if we take a look at our task list, we are given a task to defeat a Neptune. All we need to do is defeat a Neptune in battle to earn our new breath upgrade. Sounds good, so let's make our way over to her. Since we destroyed all the Dark Gems, we can now get past the Dark Gem Force Field. Along the way, we have some small crab enemies blocking our path to take care of. We have now made it to level 8, Watery Tomb. As you can see, there is no map for this level. That's because it's basically just a boss fight. We are now given a task to defeat a Neptune, which is the same one we got from level 5, Coastal Remains. Let's continue on. Behind us, we see two water wheels. Don't worry about them for now and continue ahead. people I fight say I'm smaller than they expected. You know, they're trying to psych me out. Oh, I guess I just assumed dragons were tiny. You know, I spend all my time in the water, so I don't get to see a lot of... dragons. <laughs> Let the battle begin. First thing we'll do is keep our distance. After a while, she'll use her acid breath. As long as we keep our distance, we'll be safe. After using her acid breath, she decides to take a nap during the battle. Use this opportunity to charge her. This sends her into the archway. After damaging her, a totem pole comes out of the toxic green water, which shoots water. The water does gradually expand, so jump over it to avoid getting hit. You also need to be careful because she will occasionally throw acid bullets at you. Watch out for her acid breath. While avoiding her attacks, be careful not to fall in the toxic green water. Now to send her into the archway. Now instead of jumping over the water, you can actually just jump on top of the totem pole, which is a guaranteed safe zone. It is a small space, so it can be hard to land on at times. Just remember to jump off before it sinks. Again, watch out for her acid breath. Now to send her into the archway. Oh, I can't believe I was defeated by someone as strong. She also throws a giant acid bullet, but like with the smaller ones, just run out of the way to avoid it. Watch out for her acid breath. Now to send her into the archway. Here we have a butterfly if we need to recover. Now they decide to have two totem poles. Not that it matters, as long as you get on top of one, you'll be safe. Avoid the acid bullets. 
Watch out for her acid breath. Now to send her into the archway. Again, get on either one of the totem poles to be safe. Avoid the acid bullets. Dodge the large acid bullet. Watch out for her acid breath. Now to send her into the archway. Ah! I can't believe I was defeated yet again by someone so small. As you can see, she is pretty mad. Avoid the acid bullets. Watch out for her acid breath. Now to send her into the archway. Same as before, pick one of the totem poles to get on to avoid the water shooting out. Avoid the acid bullets. Watch out for her acid breath. Now to send her into the archway. This time they make it more difficult by double stacking one of the totem poles. Still, same rules apply. If you manage to get on the higher totem pole, you'll be safe. If not, at least try to get on the other totem pole, because then you just have to jump over the water from the higher part of the other totem pole. Avoid the acid bullets. Watch out for her acid breath. Okay, time to finish her off. Solve puzzles and slow down some enemies. You can also use it to add water to dehydrated foods. <laughs> this completes defeating a Neptune in both Watery Tomb and Coastal Remains. We are now given two tasks. One is to use Water Breath. All we need to do is use the new Water Breath on the water wheels to get out of a Neptune's lair. Second is to activate Teleporter, where all we need to do is return to the main Teleporter to activate it. You will then be able to travel to the next realm. As you can see, we have now acquired the Water Breath, but another thing we notice is the Toxic Green Water has been replaced with regular water, meaning it is now safe to swim in. If we dive down, we see there is nothing on the bottom to get, so let's make our way over to the exit. Now it doesn't matter which water wheel you use your water breath on, both open the gate. This completes using water breath. We can now switch between the different breaths, but we're going to want to stick with the water breath. Remember the giant water wheel with the light gem floating above it back in Coastal Remains? That's where we're going next.
use your water breath on the giant water wheel to raise the platform and collect the light gem. This completes Coastal Remains. We destroyed all the Dark Gems, found all the Dragon Eggs, and collected all the Light Gems. Now to save our game. This is the end of Level 8, Watery Tomb.